we have discovered in this place is that there is high possibility of foreigners infecting our country. Where I'm standing, we are at the border of South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo. In this place, the security team are not enough, the surveillance team are not enough to, to handle the issue of COVID, especially. There are so many parallels points through which the people of South Sudan they sneak in this country, and that's why there are a lot of infections in this place. The whole of this place does not have a, a kind of rapid or actually testing kits. So it means those who are entering here, it is quite difficult for them to be screened immediately. There are about 17, those which they can count, 17 forest points through which uh, the, 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 the foreigners, the South Sudanese, and then the Democratic Republic, they, they enter our country. So this shows that we are losing a lot in terms of, of, of taxation. There are a lot of uh, smuggle and illegal entry of, of, of things in this, in this country. I have seen at Oraba border and we have had the explanation about the porous borders. And uh, the issue of the porous borders is not new to us. We know actually in all, near all the, 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 the official and designated border points, there are always other entries. And it bothers us because surely in this pandemic we would have loved that people who are coming into our country, they come through the official borders, because at least at that point, we are able to, we are able to control in terms of also having the testing facilities.